Well, 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 we're back. <laughs> Voice is feeling a lot better. Thank you so much. All love, support, all likes. Greatly appreciated. Kind of just cruising through this game. Apparently, I've been doing side missions some too. I didn't realize that. I'll show you in a minute. But anyways, all likes, support. Greatly appreciated. Fill the rest of this game quickly. Let's keep it up. Love you all. And let's do this. So I'll show you right now. The game's going to load pretty quick, I'm imagining. Optimizing shaders, and then it's just like, boom, it starts. And it's not quite dark out here. Okay. So I've been doing the LARPing type missions. Apparently, you don't have to do those, like these right here. Now, I don't know if that's true or not. That's what I read. What I'm going to do right now is stick to the critical path as far as, like, these types of missions. Because it doesn't say... It says main missions on the top tabs. So that's why I just assumed these were the correct ones but I'm gonna go ahead and see what kind of weapons I got for we venture out too much this is my I like this guy's always dancing all right so what is uh, let's see what we got we actually man we actually have a lot of stuff unlocked as far as yeah I want to try out this signature thing so it's just like the ammo as well. I haven't bought any guns in this game. I haven't bought any ammo. I just you just kind of collect it off of enemies. I'm gonna rest till the sun is out. Might take like one or two of these rest things. It doesn't really have like a time of day. There's not like a clock in this game. I just go out here and it's like the sun's out. Yep, we're good. How convenient. All right, let's go ahead and keep going the critical path. I think my goal right now is to just finish the main story and then. Anything extra I may or may not do. We'll see. See how these videos do. Hey, Kev. Eli's calling a board meeting. I'll meet y'all at home. I like how we're already there. Okay. Here we go. We got the name. We got the space. We got the logo. We got the employees. And we got the fucking money. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Which means there's one thing left to do. How do we make a statement? Well... Uh, we just robbed a money train and killed Sergio in a particularly horrific fashion. Oh, so you ripped out Sergio's heart. I was there for moral support. It doesn't matter. Because word on the street is that the Nawali was a one-man wrecking crew. The Saints didn't get any shine from the heist. So, we're going to need something that establishes us as an institution. All right, so we need to do something that says, we're not going anywhere, come at us. Exactly. We steal the Hummingbird Codex. Marshall wanted to protect it. Panteros and the Idols wanted to steal it, and if it wasn't for that fucking book, we wouldn't have formed the Saints. It should be ours. I like it. How do we do it? I mean, I figured we'd just go in with a bunch of guns and kill the shit out of everybody. But if we want to do some heist movie stuff, I can work with that. Yeah, that's cool. Guns work. Sounds good. Why do so I look like I'm about to fight somebody? Stolen stuff in an abandoned boat shop? Under the boat shop. They've got stash houses all over the city. I figure the codex is probably there because it's closest to the museum. And it's practically next door to us? I know. Stealing the codex is going to be the easiest statement we ever made. Hells yeah. I'll be surprised if it's that easy. It's called going overboard. And uh, all the missions we've done recently, so I've kind of been like mixing in the other ones. With like the main stuff, apparently all of it's main stuff. I just apparently you don't have to do all of it to finish the game. So I don't know what I'm gonna. I don't know how I'm gonna play out these next few things. Let's change the radio station. Interesting. <laughs> Since it's no music playing, doesn't even matter. Hey, by the way, all the support on this series in particular, just mainly because it's like the first first like major game of the fall I feel like and I don't know I'm just kind of excited to kind of see like this is like the beginning of everything it's gonna be probably one of the biggest next few months that I'll have for a long time hey you neon assholes we're here to steal back the codex you stole after it was stolen from other people Man, the gunplay in this game is actually really, like, a lot smoother than I ever expected it to be. I don't know if I can walk through this or not. Here we go. 
I can't see anything. We good? I like there's like three different factions we've ran into at the end of the game. Feels like there's more than that though. But there's only three apparently. We actually gotta open this door. There we go. Get in on this. Hold on. This has been... Where's this crazy? When I first saw this game, I'm not going to lie, I did not think it looked that good. I had my doubts. And when it came out, I thought, okay, it's kind of a reboot in a sense, but it's not like traditional Saints Row, so it's like a fresh start. Well, the, either the reviews, you the either like love it or hate it. Ours. I'm kind of like, I want to finish the game before I judge it, really. I, that's why, like... A lot of people call me a poor man's game stuff. It's always like the nickname I hear quite often on Twitter and stuff. They say, hey, I don't have to buy the game. I can watch you play. That's kind of like why I like doing this, I think. Not not for every game, but like a lot of stuff I just enjoy playing video games. I've been uh, playing games since I was a kid. I remember playing like Earthworm Jim. Hold on. Earthworm Jim, Vector Man, all those games on Sega Genesis, and before that, my very first console and game was Super Mario World on Super Nintendo, which I did a member video for that a little while back, and it was crazy seeing that again. You know, game holds up pretty good. And it's clear sailing from here to there. Let's go get it. This mission feels familiar. Or am I crazy? I don't know. They locked us in. Congratulations on proving your own predictability. Sounds predictable. <laughs> That's not good. Codex? It's another fake and a bomb. That's okay. I can disarm this, probably. Marshal training, marshal training. Got it. Not a lot of time. Those fuckers almost fucked us up. And we better fuck them up twice as much to make our statement. You mean find the Codex and bust some serious heads? Hells yeah! I don't think the bomb went off. So we do this the fun way! I like this music. What's going on? Oh my goodness! The minimap just popped up. Hold on, should I? I got a couple rockets. I might as well use them, right? Here's what's crazy. They're going to tank these. Might as well use uh, whatever I got. Hold on. Out of bullets. Really? Oh, my goodness. Hold on. I need cover. Yo, the amount of stagger you get with that is actually pretty wild. There we go. The codex isn't here. Where would they have taken it? They didn't just move the codex. They emptied this whole place. So how do you empty a boathouse? Of course. The collective's yacht. It's like their HQ. I bet they transferred everything there. Then that's where we're going next. There's some jet skis out back. We can grab one of those. The idols won't shoot at their own jet skis. So there's apparently six collective as far as I heard. Like as this far as like the be an epic statement. That yacht's guarded AF. Dude, did you just say AF? Yeah, an abbreviation. First, you fucking swear all the time. Second, it's only an abbreviation when you text. AF oh my God. as fuck. Same number of syllables. Okay, fine. This is gonna be an epic statement because that yacht is guarded as fuck. And every last one of them is gonna learn what happens when you try to blow up a saint. Hells yeah! That dialogue is so awkward in this moment, you know? It just doesn't make any sense. It is what it is, though. Here we go. Grab a jet ski. You know, I haven't done any kind of water stuff in this game. I just realized that. We're gonna want a different way Let's back. See. Would suck to get the codex wet. No worries. Call home for a ride. Well, it was a backflip. Hey, Nina. Can you send a helicopter to pick us up from the collective's yacht? Are you too crazy? Let me see who I can...
can find. So it's called going overboard. I wonder, like, why it's unless we're uh, the yachts. Maybe the yacht gets like to get onto the yacht. capsized or something. We'll see. All right, take the jump. It's like a Happy Days jumping the shark, the Fonz type reference or something. Yo, when you're in the water, you slide so much. Which I mean, I guess it's kind of normal. Maybe try those jumps. That's a little whoa, too whoa. much. Fail, fail, jump. What? That was such an awkward moment. Like I should have just walked up. Let's go find the codex. You tell everybody the Saints took your prize. You don't have much time to actually kill them. That's, that's actually not something I was expecting. Boarding a yacht, going overboard. I'm trying to think like how it's gonna tie in together. Is everybody, there we go. I oh, says so everybody like an elite enemy or what? Fun times. What the fuck are you doing on our yacht? Man, you gotta be cautious. How let me get this going? Are they above us? The way he was aiming was kind of funny. Can I go through here? Rise up, vitals! Oh my God! Hold on. I'm sorry. Did you think you were safe here? I'm actually curious if you think we'll ever get like a Saints Row with like the old school characters, like John, Johnny, and everybody else. You know, like. Hey boss, Nina sent me with the chopper. I'll just hover over till you're ready to go. Nah, uh, I guess we're going up to the top. Let's see. Oh boy. There's a ton of enemies right there. Let me get everything ready. Hold on. I hear the person with like the baton things or whatever. We're here to take what we the want. Shield. Just like you used to. Oh my god. Get some of that HP, baby. All right. It's kind of odd. Are right, they above us? Get Let's get going. The codex is here. Yes. Let's make our statement. Oh, so this is like. Guard, never mind. I don't know why I thought it was like actual like main boss enemies. Like the ones in the video are probably gonna be the ones we take out here in a second. If this is not the real thing. We got the co oh shit. It's booby trapped. Again? I'm getting really tired of defusing these things. 18 seconds. Hold on, I'm out of bullets. Cut the Pink wire. Got it. Fucking fucks. They nearly blew us up again. I say we return the fucking favor. Hells yeah. I got the codex. Let's get this bomb to the bridge. This is smooth as I think it's about to be. Here we go. It's hot. Run. Uh, go to the helipad. Uh, yep, hop it over. We got the codex, planted a bomb, and are gonna get away from our own helicopter. Let's go. Now that's a statement. Hey, that was a odd Can we just trap ourselves transition. on a boat with a live bomb and a bunch of angry idols? Hell. Yeah. Oh my god. The fact that that... Alright, I am hold on. I annihilated that first one. Four out of six collective members down. Yeah, there is six. Okay. Get out here before a bomb blows up. Good call. Ah, uh, shit. Escape the yacht. Oh, no. There's no way there's people still here, right? Oh, well, here we go. 
I would literally just like hop over. Okay. Just keep your head down and run. Don't get too close to the flames and you'll be fine. Let's grab that speedboat. Shove the codex in the watertight compartment. I'll drive. Whew. That's such a. You've got a little crazy over there. Seriously. Why does stuff like that keep happening oh, to oh us? Oh, man. I don't know. Prison riots, derailing trains. It's almost enough to make you question your whole way of. Look out! Idols on jet skis with machine guns! Let's fuck them up. Hells yeah! I'm gonna head for home. You give them a reason not to follow us. Uh, you still haven't learned not to. Uh. Still got. Do I have other gun. Oh, I can't use this one. Never mind. I like this gun a lot. I really do. Like 900 R RPMs or something crazy. I don't know. Codex is ours, asshole. So I'm guessing killing all the collective is like one massive uh, part of the game. But I don't think the game ends after that. Cause that's just one. That's just one like faction as far as like. Oh my god, hold on. I'm trying to aim. Come on! There hasn't been a major update for this game yet. I'm guessing they're working on like patches and stuff. I'm gonna die. I, this thing, you cannot aim it. Hey, nice. Happy with that. Are oh, you just embarrassing yourself now? It's like the best I can aim right here. If I gotta kill all of them, that's gonna be tough. Brace yourself, Oh, I got a headshot. What in the world? A rooftop kill. Oh, we got company in the front. Every time I do one of these types of missions in games, I have the strongest urge to play Resident Evil. It's Resident Evil 5, per se, and 4 with like the giant monster in like the lake area. Just some of that. I played Resident Evil 5 with a friend of mine. Like last year on professional. We're good now. That was a lot of fun. So, what were we saying? Huh? When? Just now, before the jet skis and stuff. Uh, probably that we were awesome, stole the codex, and fucked up Collective HQ? Yeah. I'm sure that was it. Talk about a goddamn statement. Hells yeah, buddy. Hells yeah. Who messes with the Saints? No one! I said, who messes with the Saints? No one! You're goddamn right, no one. The Saints aren't a flash in the pan. We're here to stay. <laughs> the four of us founded the Saints, but it belongs to all of us. It belongs to anyone who dreams of making something of themselves and are fucking tired of the world trying to hold them back. Life is hard enough without having to deal with middle managers with no discernible talent telling you how to do your job. Without having to deal with assholes who've had every opportunity handed to them but never had to fucking work for a single one of them. Without being told that your time will come, you just have to wait. Be patient. Well, let me tell you something. We're fucking done waiting. We all did the work. Now it's time for us to reap the benefits. Kev, I think it's time you throw us a hell of a party. All right, going overboard. That was a fun mission. Probably one of the better ones we've had uh, recently. Well, the, I think the, the train heist was still my favorite so far. Idols? All right, nice. Hummingbird Codex. Yo! 
setting up for the party. The word on the street is the idols are in total disarray now that we've blown up their yacht. The anarchists are in a state of chaos, huh? Who could have seen that coming? Looks like they've mostly gone to ground. For now, anyway. Might be a good time to move in on their turf. Alright, so... Hold on, what if I have anything yeah, else I can place out here? I haven't really tried this in a minute. A giant boot. That's funny. I don't even remember taking a picture of that. If I did, I, I don't remember at all. Alright. So we got here. Non oh, not compete claws, okay. Body of evidence, what is this one? This feels like a major mission as well. But I don't also don't know like I feel like it's gotta all like venture into one giant mission, you know? Uh alright. Time to get ready for the party. Yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Hey, Kev just showed up with the party supplies. Wanna lend a hand with decorating? Sure. How can I say no to streamers? Hiya, boss. Do you think we have enough crate paper? Come again? Crate paper. Do we have enough? <laughs> it's crepe paper with a P. Really? Yeah, really. Sorry, folks. Party's over. Who the fuck are you? Chet Drummond, Marshal General Counsel. The Saints are now a wholly owned subsidiary of Marshall Defense Industries. Ha! Uh, no. The employment agreement you signed when we hired you contained a non-compete clause. I signed a lot of shit. I didn't actually read it. Not our problem. By attacking Marshall interests, to wit, the Frontier Prison, our cargo train, and various other assets, you became a competitor. So, what's your fucking point? Pursuant to Article 9, Section 12, Paragraph 36A, you have surrendered all rights and ownership of the Saints to us. Eli? Oh my god, he's right. Of course I'm right. I wrote the fine print myself. You are aware that didn't solve the issue, right? Yeah, but he was being a dick. 